Profound messages of peace and hope are rarely associated with the combative sport of boxing. But just days ago, an unlikely group of Australian fighters returned from a week-long tour of war-ravaged Syria, delivering their message in unique fashion. Back on home soil and reflecting on a brief but eventful trip, Father Dave Smith says one word sits front of mind. Surreal is the word. I mean, the experience in Palmyra particularly was very surreal. Last year, the ancient ruins of Palmyra were seized by IS. Dozens of people, including Syrian soldiers and civilians, were executed. The historic site was recently liberated. Upon their arrival, Father Dave and his contingent performed a distinctive, clichéd ceremony. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, 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 oi. Soon after, a busload of young boxers from the city of Homs arrived and got down to business. <laughs> Where unimaginable atrocities were committed just months ago, two groups with a shared passion, but from vastly different backgrounds, slugged it out in the name of peace. We're going to a place that's been associated recently with brutality and, and death, and, and we're playing. You know, we're playing sport with uh, Syrian kids. Among the group, Nigerian-born Australian champion Solomon Egbean. Look right, yes. The Australian title holder and world title hopeful, a hit with the kids, before training got underway in earnest. <laughs> The location, a converted Damascus hangar, now Syria's home of boxing. Understandably, opportunities for Syrian boxers are limited, making the chance to train with the visiting Australians a rare treat and diversion. Whether in the gym or out, the shared experience was one of learning and, according to Father Dave Smith, one of hope. That's, that's Syria for me. It's, I appreciate there's a backdrop there of violence and pain, uh, but, but life, you know, the light shines in the darkness and, and things keep moving forward. That part particularly was, was just sort of like a dream unfolding. It was uh, incredible. Luke Waters, SBS World News.